What's up you guys? If you do not know, it's your girl Shasha Ray back in the camera with another video. What's been going on with y'all? Like, what y'all been up to? What y'all been up to? I haven't really been up to like really anything. I honestly just been working. Um, <clears throat> what else? I do want to share with you guys that I officially got me a trainer. So everybody clap for me. I'll wait. You clap me? Okay. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, yeah, now I have a trainer, and I work out Monday to Thursday um, for an hour. So, it's an hour and 30 minutes, Monday to Thursday. Um, yeah, and today was my first day, and I'm super excited. So, today is uh, May 6th, May 5th, May 6th, and this is my first day, and I actually loved it. Like, y'all, it really... Is really about to do some justice in my life. Like, I needed that. I need somebody to be on me 24-7. Like, you need to do this. It goes like that. You know, like, I don't want to be baby. I want you to push me, especially if I'm paying you, you know, um, for a month's worth. So, you know, when you go in, you have a choice to pay it by weekly or you can pay it by the month. And I decided that I'm going to just pay it by the month, you know, knowing that I sent um, a certain amount of money so a trainer would have me like okay that'll push me to go come post to paying him weekly it's gonna make me like i'm not going because i don't have to if that makes sense put it in terms as if i'm paying it weekly then i'm gonna feel like i have a choice like well you don't have to go next week because you didn't pay for that so it's by choice but knowing that i paid it um for the whole month, it's going to push me Monday to Thursday, an hour and 30 minutes every morning. It's not going to kill me. So, that's what it's doing. But, yeah, right now, I'm sitting in the car. Um, I'm actually waiting on my friend to text me so I can go inside of the building with her. Right now, I'm in the car. Yeah, what do y'all notice about me? Oh, yeah. I have this piercing sticking out my nose. Well, I just got my nose pierced and this piercing right here. But I'm getting ready to change um, this piercing. This is just what it got pierced with. But I'm going to change it to a different ring. But, y'all, yeah, these are my two new piercings. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, y'all, I just have to change the ring on my nose. And then this one really is my favorite piercing. Like, I've been talking about that I wanted this piercing. I forgot what it's called. Is it even surface? I forgot what it's called. I've been talking about I wanted this piercing, but for some reason, I just was procrastinating, you know. I wasn't getting a piercing. But for some reason, when I went and got the other side of my nose pierced, I was like, you know what? I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to just get this pierced. So, you know, I have my ears pierced, both of my nose nostrils, my belly, and that's it. I don't want nothing else pierced. That's it. <laughs> so, I'm currently at the OBGYN because my friend is having a baby. And so, you know, right now she's getting, like, little stuff here and there checked up on her or whatnot, on her little girl. But, um, literally, before I was about to go into the back room with her... It was this lady that was going crazy. And the reason she was going crazy is because you know how COVID is going on. So it's like, they're not really letting people go inside of hospitals, doctor's office. Like, you can't even go to the dentist. Like, none of that with, like, with other people. It just has to be one person. And so I guess this lady, she, like, she had about three kids. Um, and she was trying to go in for, you know, her appointment, her ultrasound. That's what it was. She had an ultrasound. But she wasn't able to attend her ultrasound because I guess the lady at the front desk saw her like, you got kids, they cannot come back here. So in my head, I'm like, where the kids supposed to go if they don't have nowhere? Because obviously if they had somewhere to go, she would have had her kids go there, right? Right around. I think it's so crazy how much COVID has taken over. Like everything that is done is just like, it really is destroying a lot. Like you can't really do anything. Like you can't even freaking go to a freaking clinic without it being something or you can't go to get your teeth clean without them saying oh such such can't be here like it's like what the freak 
but i was super excited that i was able to you know go back there with her during her ultrasound find out what the gender was even though we already knew the gender but we were just trying to play it you know play it in a certain way so that way we can get you know all the information because sometimes they'll be like it's a boy and then they don't like to tell you nothing else no we wanted to wait to the end so we was like no we don't know you can put in the envelope when well, reality we knew yes it was a lie whatever so i'm just chilling in the car waiting for her to come out and y'all want to know what's so freaking crazy the car that I want to trade in my Toyota for is the car that my friend got and I'm literally sitting in the driver's seat and I'm like what the freak like this car is really the bomb.com like literally we also ended up going to Starbucks and we went to Moe's y'all so I wasn't even able to finish my drink like it's literally been sitting in the car but you know we about to try and make sure it's still good y'all the sun is also going to be shining on my face i don't know why oh yeah i do because the sun is so you guys now i'm in marshall's and y'all won't believe what i found y'all know i found so much stuff from my youtube so i'm about to show y'all what i just found I literally have all of this and this one looks so freaking cool i think i'm gonna have to get this honestly because when I moved from Colorado, I had to sell my ring light. But boy, they let me have all of these. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Now, if I had my laptop, this would be so smart and convenient for me, honestly. How big do y'all think this thing really get? Because I don't think it get that big. Well, but so big. But if you guys are looking for something like that, it's at Marshall's. My friend likes elephants, so I'm trying to find her. Um, like a blanket or something she said she wanted that has an elephant on it and I think this is like very you know neutral and pretty for it to be a girl to use this one so I honestly think that this or that one will work I like this color though My eyes cream. My eyes cream. Mm. Oh yeah, y'all. I also meant to tell you guys that I plan on just coloring my hair black and then just rocking out some braids for the summertime and like my curly hair. I mean, the blue is good and all, but at the same time, you gotta keep the blue treated just like you have to keep anything else treated, of course. Don't get me wrong, I do get like lots of compliments and stuff on it, but I'm just not completely there with keeping it, so. I want to change it so I could just put me in some black braids and, you know, be done with it. You know, I'm kind of just in my basic natural state, nothing extra, you know. Yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. And y'all, it's going on almost a month for my um, beef and pork journey. I just, I just can't get with it. I think it's because it sends me to the bathroom a lot. Um, I do miss eating bacon but like i said i have to stay away from certain things because it's messing up my stomach it's not making my body feel well um it's not doing no good for my body and also like my trainer was telling me today he was like a lot of times you eat beef and pork it doesn't always digest and um go through your body like it's supposed to and like you can just eat you some turkey meat or eat you some chicken fish you know stuff like that but eating all of that all them burgers and stuff and steaks i just have to you know stay away from it and you do feel the difference in your body when you eliminate certain stuff like before i know it i won't be eating like nothing i'll be a complete vegetarian so you just have to you know push yourself if it's something that you want to do i can say that i'm super excited to start my weight loss journey i can't wait to see how far this um opportunity and everything this brings me i hope that i'm able to you know motivate somebody else able to push them and let them know like you can do this 
and I started this journey on May 6th at 9.37 a.m. Um, so like I said, I can't wait. Like, I'm literally so excited. I just know my body's gonna look so good. I'm gonna be so excited. I just can't wait. You guys, don't you notice that I changed my nose ring? I just did it. It's currently the next day though, as you can pretty much tell your girl is at work. So basically y'all at work with me right now, but I'm about to close out this video because I need to edit it. So I will see you guys in the next video. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and cut your notification bell. All right, bye.